I can't think. Thanks for joining us, ladies and gentlemen, on another episode of the Manxiety Podcast. I'm Corey Brooks. Mick Thomas here. And we thank you for joining us on YouTube or if you're listening on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, anywhere that you get your podcasts, we appreciate it. Yeah, I'm liking I'm liking the YouTube now, uh, now that we're outside. Are we outside as we like to see on the streets? Uh, it's nice. I saw chickens coming in here. Yeah, chickens, goats, um, wild turkeys. We have it all. Yeah, I miss, I miss chickens. I miss Hence having my, chickens. So Three it's buttons nice. on buttoned. I noticed that Western too. Western backwards yeah. looking shirt right now. It's really good. Did you ever think you could pull off a cowboy hat? I debate it. I'd like to try one on. I don't think I can. It depends like what you're doing yeah. to pull it off. You know, I can't wear it around here while I'm washing a car. You know, every like you have to own one horse to wear a cowboy hat. You legally have to own one horse. Everywhere I go, I, I go, I want to wear a cowboy hat here. <laughs> and I'm not allowed to get one. I was at, where was I this weekend? I took my son, me and the missus and the son went out to uh, someplace out east. Okay. Where's the place where they used to have the pirate ships and then Sandy fucking wrecked them? Oh, I don't remember. There was those big pirate ships. Were in, I'm calling them pirate ships because everyone says that, like even though they're old ships, like old frigates right. from the 1300s, or not the 1300s, maybe like the, the 16, 1700s, and everybody uh, kind of calls them pirate ships, but they were used for everything else. Just pirates happen to have them as well. It's like if terrorists wore sneakers and they were right. just called them terrorist, terrorist shoes. shoes. Exactly. <laughs> the Boston Tea Party happened on a pirate ship. Yeah, so it was on a pirate ship. So, uh, but they had those old ships out there and Sandy fucked them up. Where's that place with the carousel? Oh, on, oh um, Greenport. Yeah, so that's where we were. Yeah, okay. And this just said carousel and the fucking pirate ships. I don't know no pirate car- ships. So nah. she likes to stop at every fucking ship. Shop, every shop that's uh, um, like antique crap, you okay. know, hey, do you want to buy this old shit or else buy this new shit? There's a lot of those like stores out there too. Plenty of them. Yeah. So me and my son would stay outside of every one of them and there was a stall and I had, I had cowboy hats. Okay. And I tried one on. I did not look good with it. I think because <laughs> what I was wearing was, you see me wear flowery shirts and everything. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, flowery. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't pull it off. I think they got a name for those kind of cowboys. But. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh. I couldn't pull it off. Oh man. So uh speaking of this week, I did something uh pretty uh pretty crazy, not thinking. Yeah, because you told me uh, you, you said you yeah, had something so I, I wanted like, to tell wanna... you. So you know here's a here's a good time to get it out, I guess. Go on. Um so I ran to a, a local retail store, right? Uh paid, grabbed a shirt, whatever I did. Um I leave this retail store. Take the keys out of my pocket. You want right? to mention? You don't want to mention the name of the store? It's a Marshalls. Okay. Left the Marshalls. All right. All okay. Right. Don't be embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. It sounds like you are. I'm not embarrassed about. I shopped at thrift clearance, stores. Michael I still, Coles. I still do. Um, so I left the store. I, I took my keys out of my pocket. I unlocked the truck. I get in the truck. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I put my seatbelt on. I go to start the truck. The truck's not starting. Very okay. cowboy again. Right? Everything is very cowboy. It I was. Just, that's very yeah, cowboy. Yeah, yeah. Cow- cowboys don't get their shirt to Marshall. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. But, but yeah, you go get a shirt and then, you know, the <laughs> truck, <laughs> truck <laughs> was the truck. Find some dip and uh, <laughs> yeah. the truck wouldn't start. So the, the, the truck wouldn't start. So I hit I hit the button on the truck and it's telling me key fob not found. I'm like, what do you mean key fob not found? I got the key in my fucking pocket. All right. <laughs> so I'm buckled and I'm trying to start the truck. I hit the key, the button again to start the ignition doesn't start again says key fob not found like what the fuck's going on i look down right i go wait a minute that's not my mug that's not my son's not into poor patrol (laughs) i'm fucking sitting in someone's vehicle trying to start their truck right now so i I get out of the car in a panic and i just jet across the fucking the parking lot into my truck and i go you didn't walk out again like no confusing (laughs) no because i was the worst (laughs) The worst part about that is between trying to start the car and buckling my seatbelt, I farted so bad in their truck. So fucking bad. Like, and, and it was 98 degrees. And so and it happened so fast. So I I, I put the seatbelt on. I ripped ass. I tried starting the car. It didn't start. I noticed it wasn't mine. I got out. I jetted to my truck and I fucking left. And now in my head, I'm laughing to myself because I'm like. Of course you are. Like, imagine they're online, right? And they're watching you going to their car and then just immediately jet out. And at first they're like, and it was a long line too. So they're probably like 20th place in line. Like, do I move and try to see what the fuck's going on in my truck or I'm not going to win this line again? But whoever got into 
to that car oh, <laughs> after they paid. The old hot box. Oh, they they guaranteed, guaranteed they threw up. Shit, right? man. Guaranteed. That's hilarious. Oh my God. It's probably one of the stupidest things I, I've ever done in my life. That's happened to me uh, one time going to uh, Florida, a couple coming back from Florida. And it was my wife, my two kids, and they were smaller. And we pull into, I think it was in, we were in Virginia. Okay. And we stopped off at this massive gas station, right? And it was one of those gas stations that had everything. at had a Starbucks, had a Subway, had a- I drink alone on this podcast. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that was alcohol. It looks like a made well, I don't up, tell you because you make me feel funny every time it, it I looks like a made do up that drink, stuff. Though. Every time I do that stuff. <laughs> it looks like a made up <laughs> drink for a, Kona, t- big for a movie or something that they didn't get the rights to drink butt on. <laughs> you know, and when you, when you down it, you just squeeze it. Remember oh. that was a thing, crushing the can? Yeah, exactly. For some fucking cowboys do it. That's what I was going to um, do at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it with this bottle, <laughs> a bottle of water. Uh, um, continue, I'm sorry. Pure life. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we're, we we stop off at this big thing, and we were it was time to swap over. I was driving for hours, and we were in Virginia or Georgia. One, well, no, it was Georgia, which is like a nine hour. It drive, was definitely right? from 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 Florida, uh, Georgia. Oh, Florida. Yeah, not that long. No, no, Georgia is the first state. Okay, coming back by the way. Um, so I think it was hard turn to drive. So that's what it was. So I go, look at. Yeah, it was hard time to drive because I remember when I got into the car, I, I go, listen, you fill the car up. I'll go in the subway, get everything. No, I was the only one eating subway at the time because the kids were too small. They didn't want it. Right. Subway wasn't their thing. She doesn't need subway. And so I go ahead and I get it and I come out and I just get in the car. I'm like, ah, I'm first one in the car. I'm sitting there <laughs> like, this is like, you know, she's driving now. I'll get to eat my sandwich, enjoy it. Right. Put the seat back, maybe get a few, a few Z's. <laughs> And uh, I look around and go, fuck me, man. Like, cause I have a thing with my wife where she's like, her car is just disgusting. Okay. And she's a very clean, clean, clean person, but her car looks like, like she's on hoarders. Like <laughs> my son said that cause we saw That's, a car the yep. other day out in Greenport is identical. And I go, I go, he goes, ah, there's this car like mommy's only, <laughs> this car doesn't look like it should be on hoarders. <laughs> I was like, all right. That's great. So we, uh, so I'm sitting in the car and I'm looking, like, fuck me, even in a rent a car. Like it's, she makes like the car disgusting because it was a rent a car. Yep. And, uh, why do women do that? I got to stop right uh, there because uh, um, we can continue the story. Because my fiance does the same exact thing. Any pocket in the car is stuffed with shit, whether it be cliff bars. To be never to used. Nail polish to remover used. to nine nail clippers that she ha- keeps buying to uh, napkins and tissues and this. And, and you're like, whoa, to, everything's, every pocket's stuffed. And it's just like those girls that take those selfies in their bedrooms and they try to look all good. And then you look behind them. It looks like a bomb went off in their closet. Yeah, that's funny. And, and, just, and you just look like, are you not aware of the filth? Of the filth. You know what I mean? Like, like, like they take the mirror shot. But like the, the, I guess there's like someone sneezed on it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, the grubby stains on it. I guess people yeah. are looking at a at, at this episode or listening to this episode, going, "Yeah, but it's a hot girl, you fucking." So only the gay guys notice the mess. Yeah, like they're like, "I just saw the tits uh, in the ass. I That's all I saw." Like how she bent all the way around and <laughs> twisted her body around. That Take was yeah, yeah. So you guys go back and worry about the uh, about the fucking the mess of the room. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so I'm in the car. And I'm looking around, and then I, I, I'm sitting like, wait, what the fuck? This isn't... And I look over, and I see the car, and they're all waving at me and laughing right. through the window. Now, the problem is Georgia is uh, an open carry state, to my knowledge. Okay. So yep. if I got in the car, and I'm sitting beside this woman, and she pulled out her gun and shot me, she'd be in the right. Really? Yeah, she'd be in the right to shoot me. Because how she doesn't know I wasn't there to attack her. That's wild. All she got to say, I'd never seen this guy before. That's he it. jumped so into my just, car. Oh, yeah. You know? I'm like, lucky. Like, what would you do if you were out here and you like someone was in your backyard and you shot him? Right. Right? Even though it was your brother. <laughs> you just, but, like, you could go, I didn't know it was him. Yeah. Uh, he was running through my property. I felt unsafe. It's on my land. It's crazy, yeah. That you Whenever can, you say land gives you more. Exactly. Nobody talks about, like, everyone says their property. Nobody talks about that. Cowboys. That's their land, right? But you say property. <laughs> Get off my land. Right, I say property is about my house, but yeah. land legally, yeah. legally, I think that's the word, is the word you use to, when you want to shoot somebody, like you get off my land. Mm, yep. That's you know exactly what I mean? You sh- get off yeah. my land. You know what I'm saying? Get off my property. And then when you walk in and your wife's cheating on you, you tell them to get off your property. Yeah, get off my property. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what it is. You put one more foot up there. Get off my property and then run off my land. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on what on yeah. what it is. So yeah, I, that that's fucking great, man. That's uh, that's like, uh, but the, the 
like once you realize you jumped out, you didn't want to go through the shit. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck, I might as well in here. No, I didn't. Lift I up was the nervous. console I, in the middle. No, because so, they had a kid. So can you imagine like if it was a woman with her like two year old that she was coming to the car and this guy just hops out of it. It's like, what the hell? What if you, was there a baby it, seat? I would have, I don't know what'll happen. Like if I just got in and someone comes knocking on the window and I didn't realize that it's not my car and someone's like all frantic at the window. <laughs> immediately like, what do you mean? And since you looked at you just like, locked the door. You just locked like, the door. Can't explain. Go away. I live uh, here. Now, I really, I just feel bad about letting one go in their car. Really, nah, nah, don't do that. I always, I love letting one go. Yeah, I let, let some of the gym. Just, not knowing it's in like ninety-eight degrees in their car. It's like God. It's, I don't care. I love letting it go. What if you got, me. you got in your car, just smell like it someone else's matter. ass. It's it fine. Matter. It's fair game. It's fair <laughs> game. I've done that. Like I was, I was at the gym uh, today, and I was, you know, giving the missus a workout, and she was. You know, like you giving her a workout in the gym. I'm I not gonna, don't elaborate. I see what you did, uh, and I had I had her pushing sleighs. Right, you know what those are like. So you get yeah, a big yeah. sleigh, you load Put up weights on it, and you yep. fucking she does. She has good weight, like it's like 150 pounds. She's pushing on it. Good. And uh, but as I'm walking up next, like I don't work out. I go a bit there hard. I go in the mornings. I go in yeah. the evening. But as I'm walking up, at her, like I'm just letting them go the whole way up, not realizing like I have to come back again because the, the the track isn't that long. Right. You know, some tracks you just go all the way. You can do one push, you're done. Yeah. This one goes up about from here to the tree, which is what twenty feet maybe. About um thirty thirty feet, I'd say yeah. Because you know, if you're a countryman, like, I reckon <laughs> I reckon thirty. Feet. I reckon be back in thirty feet. Uh, so you push it up and then you swap the handle and you push it back in. But I saw so we were walking back into my own my uh, own cloud. How'd that work out? Just, uh, and you know, you don't feel bad for anybody around you. I you don't. Fucking, I really. It's funny to watch. Ah, uh, Europeans. It's funny to watch people's face change. It's not Europeans. The people in Ireland hate me for doing it too. <laughs> um, but it's just funny to watch people like. You know what I mean? It's funny. Yeah, it's funny for the it people funny. you know. Like, no, it's better for strangers. I don't have the balls like that. Why not? Though I they don't, don't know you. Nobody's got. They oh, know you, can, you but listen, they you don't. Can, First forty-eight, that shit. People can track it down. You know. Yeah, but I walk down. I got my when I walk folded. when you and you smell it, you try to triangulate the fucking area and blame somebody. Yeah, That's but what I, I do. <laughs> yeah, but I'm walking. I got my arms folded like a drill instructor. Come yeah. on, you got to push, dig deep, dig deep, deep. Uh -huh. Keep going, dig deep, deep. Like nobody expects uh -huh. that guy. You know, you got that like, posture of a sergeant. Like I hate being on. Like let's say there's a guy in front of you, there's you, and then there's a girl behind you, and it's one of those like bathrooms where it's. Um, you know, it's it's whatever, either gender doesn't matter. Unisex, right? unisex bathroom. There you go. And the guy takes a shit before you, and you go in like it fucking stinks, and you just have to take a piss, and you take a piss, and you leave, and now the girl behind you thinks, thinks you're you. the one that just took a shit. So when you come out, do you say that's not? <laughs> that's you know. I don't care. Yeah, I I, I don't to, care. I got that's not me. I, I piss. point to the guy. He's got to take the responsibility. <laughs> you know, I think that's not me. I piss that's, in the sink. It's like in the office. Like when you go to the office, and they have the stalls there, and you're like, you see somebody's shoes, and you're like, <laughs> oh, and then you see them at the hallway. Or something you're like, ah, yeah, I know, kind of. You take a nasty, you know, just in there, like, you take you, I heard it, I heard it, you know. Some people sing Black when nail. they're like when they're shitting. Or like, <laughs> I try to do the thing, I do that noise. <laughs> you do what the noise you just did there? <laughs> you're, trying, you're trying to time it. It's like, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. you're sitting there pinching it, just waiting for like a toilet to flush, <laughs> and just, like, get out, waiting for the, you're like how many paper towels do they need to use? God damn it, just get out of the room. I heard something at the gym the other morning. I, I go in, I for some my religion, my religion, yeah, religiously. I go to the gym in the morning and I drink a C4 on the way to the gym. Right. And what that does is it just I guess the overload of caffeine in there upsets the bowel system. Okay. So once I get to the parking lot. Makes sense. I have to, like, I've had to hang up the phone with you. Like yeah. the other morning, I think I said this on my own podcast, Cheaper in Therapy. Uh, like I'm a gentleman. The other morning, like I, I normally open doors. I see a lady coming in, yeah. an old lady. Because usually that's what the gym is in the morning. It's like old people, a few youngers. Uh, like, <laughs> I was walking in and like, and the C4 was kicking in. So I opened the door. I was like, I have to shit. Like, and I just, I just closed the door and she was like, motherfucker. Like that's not, a, not even expected from a man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like men are supposed to open the door. Like yeah. for a human being, <laughs> I was a like, rude and I didn't even scan in my, I walked like by she the, was in the proximity of yeah. where you should have held that door. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't, I had the shit. So I didn't hold the door for her. So I yeah. just, I walked in, yeah. closed the door in her face, kept walking. And even the woman behind the counter, I didn't even scan in my thing. I went, Beep. <laughs> <laughs> and I just kept walking. Yeah, I said the words beep. <laughs> and, she, and she was like, all right. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I guess. Yeah, beep. Fuck. 
That's what it was. And I had to, I just had to go in and I made it. But anyway, the point of the story was I was in there the other day and I was just like sitting on the toilet and I put my headphones on right. and I listened to whatever it is, getting ready to go out and work out. I don't listen to music. I listen to other stuff. And um, in between whatever tracks were playing, right. It was like a, that, like three seconds of silence for the next thing kicked in. And I thought, Jesus Christ, like in the <laughs> stall next to me. I don't know if that was from me, if like he was smelling what I was doing or something fell out of him right. that he was like, oh, Jesus oh. Christ. <laughs> or maybe he was reading a text or, in, you know what I mean? No, it's the worst. Like, why do people hate, everything's going to be so loud. You get some like real heavy mouth breathers in there. And like, it's like, it's just a real disgusting in shit gym? taken. Just in the or, bathroom sometimes in general, you know, it's just like. It's well, you real. have a thing. Let's talk about this. What thing, where I can't go in public? You can't go in public. <sighs> Is it no, the only number two? I'm assuming. Other people's thrones. What? <laughs> it's, only, it's only number two, right? <laughs> only number two. Yeah. I could go. I go I could right anywhere. behind I that can't. tree right now. If I, if your room, if your bathrooms were being used right now, I know you could. And, you and I would. And I wouldn't feel bad about it. No, and I'd probably. I would blame it on one of your dogs. <laughs> I would blame it on one of your dogs. I'd be like, "Wow, your dog eats a lot wow. of steak." I don't remember feeding the dog corn. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah, yeah I, can't, I, I can't do it. I don't know. What? Can you, let's analyze it. This is the man's ID show. What? Where does that come from? I do you think? I think it just it's generation generation. My brother's like your that. brother my has it too. That's my what father's like. Is that. your dad like it? Yes, he is. So your dad at BJ's the other day. I should have asked him. They yeah, should have asked him. We're right down by the fruit aisle. Like, oh, that, that's going to create a lot of roughage, <laughs> Mr. Brooks. That's a lot of uh, roughage. You're going to be having a shit. Like, Speaking like, of shit, <laughs> if you had to go right now in Costco, what would you do? He's what like, yeah. He's like, I just leave my card and just walk home, and go home, <laughs> leave my my full card oh, full of stuff. Ask ask if if she was here right now. You can ask her. You know how many times we've drove to the supermarket, got into the front door of the supermarket. And I said, we got to go. Oh, she must hate you. We turned right back around. I had to drive another 20 minutes home. Really? Well, how many times? I, I, this happened a couple weeks ago. I'm sorry, by the I, way, guys. The topics yeah, we're not this supposed is, to leave this to is, toilet uh, humor. Why but can't, in, we should stop talking uh, no, no, about no, no, this. No, no, no. I'm into it now. If, what, I'm telling. Yeah, you're into me sharing these details here. So, no, it was, I went to, you know, I had to go to my aunt's house a couple of weeks ago. And, and I dropped them off. And I came all the way back home. But I, but I knew what kind it was going to be. Yeah. It was sweating and praying the whole way back, kind of. That's a sick. You ever have that, though? Yeah, you ever have, sick. like, where you're like, yes, yeah, and you and every every light, every turn, everybody that's driving under the speed limit in front of you, it's, and in the minute you're getting home, the closer you're getting home is when it starts to kick your in body, even more. Like your body, body knows. Body, you your know, body's that's, working that's against like, you. And you're, like, four <laughs> houses away from home, and that's the time that the old lady neighbor decides to cross the street and wave again, <laughs> and you're like, I just got I was wondering, oh, fuck you, Mrs. Johnson. I gotta go, go fuck I'll yourself. I'll get you on the way out. I'll get you on the way out. Jesus, look at my forehead on this. So, I'm gonna sell ad space here. It's all right. I'm sitting way back. Hat, like so you. I got a tiny little head. That's why. And I look very. <laughs> lo I look like I skip leg day, and I got a very long gait. I look like a. I look like a. a, a what you call it? Um, what's his name? A Tim Burton animation movie. <laughs> you know those like claymation yeah. ones he always does. Nightmare Before Christmas. With Johnny Depp. Yep. Everything he does is with Johnny Depp. Yeah. Um, but where do you think it comes from? I don't know. Did something happen when you were a kid? Like, obviously, if your dad does it, it's passed down. Exactly. Did your dad, like, see you guys around and tell you the story about like, the shit monster my son that his dad anywhere. told him? Maybe. <laughs> my son will go anywhere. But I can't, I don't know, just, yeah. I don't like it. I don't like other people. If it's a community bathroom, knowing or hearing, I don't, that's just, or what the smell is, I guess. It's just, that's my personal thing. Have you ever done it? Away from home. Yeah, I have. When you, I mean, emergency you, situations. Yeah. So when you came with me to Mohegan Sun that week, you went, where did you just? I went, went to the bathroom. Okay. You yeah. No, it in. no, no. Uh, that's right. fine. Hotel rooms are good. Okay. Like, you know, hotel rooms. That's fine. Like I'm paying for. But this. I can't do it at the comedy club or something like that. Okay. You know, I just that's can't. Fair. My fear is always uh, running out of toilet roll. Really? Yeah. That happened to me once in our club. <laughs> you got a commando crawler? No, no. It was bad. It was bad. Where I had to use my underwear <laughs> oh. as toilet roll and just then just throw out the I oh, learned that right. so like, you learned how to fold it in nine different no, ways no no it was the same the same thing what happened was the first time I did like it was one of those things where like you know you're sweating from a, like a, it's a you know it's a virus and right. it's going to last right. maybe 10 minutes yep. this is going to flush through you in 10 minutes and if, I'm so sorry for being so graphic but the first I was like there's nothing in here and I didn't think of my underwear so I said you know what it was one of those the toilets here and the sink is literally touching your shoulder right so I just washed it with my hand. Yep. Like I wiped it with my bare hand and then washed my hand and I would go back and forth from wiping it. <laughs> the gorilla video. Where Disgusting. Like just, just like an ape. Just like a fucking <laughs> ape. Except it was like really runny. Uh -huh. 
and I, you know, it was like, if you remember you have a baby and if they have upper backers, yep. they go right up the back. There was like one of them as an like adult. So I'm wiping, <laughs> I'm just taking it, scooping out my hand and, and, and fl- I'm washing it, the sink. And then I was done and I stood up. You, you know, know, our biggest fan to this show was a bunch of ladies. And now it's, it's all right. Like, they, they, I, think, I guarantee they go through disgusting uh, shit too. I sure they so do. I, I stand up and yeah. I'm like. Oh fuck! And again, I'm only. By the way, I'm like I'm like I'm 19 at this. By the way, I'm an adult oh, now. Yeah. I know how to handle this stuff. Do this now. I'm 19. By the way, he puts a sock on his hand first. Oh yeah, bring Nowadays. a spare sock. So <laughs> now I got. I then I got up at my stomach grrr, and started again. I was like motherfucker, like, I'm not doing. And then I was like, wait a minute, what if I took my under? And I did. I took my underwear off. Oh I my god. Gave it a wipe and I was fine then for speaking, the rest of the. Speaking of underwear, I fuck. I have mine on backwards right now. It's really annoying. I didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> But depends on the underwear. <laughs> they, I briefs. If it's a thong. Like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's briefs. But I went to the bathroom in the morning at work and you're just trying to find the slit in the front. <laughs> like, where the fuck did it go? Like, what do you mean? You don't pull. I, I pull it down. No, I go right through the hole. That's what it's there for. That's what somebody in a sweatshop worked an extra two hours no of overtime. Just pull it, open it up and then pull the thing down. No, I try to go through the slot. And if that's you too don't, much work. No, that's I don't. That's the easiest yeah, yeah. thing in the nah, world. Unzip, pull through the pull slot. Pull it down. Pull it. I, like, I like to go to a public bathroom and oh. pee. Like a Penn Station. I did it one time coming over from a show. You're I was with a comic. You're not the fucking pants to ankle guy, are you? I did that on purpose like a four-year-old. Oh, and you're I, and I just And guy. nobody said anything to me. <laughs> that's the weirdest thing about New York City. Like, nobody goes like, ah, uh, you sick motherfucker. I just pulled yeah. it all the way down to my ankles. I see a lot of suit and tie guys do that so they don't get splashed back on there. You know, really? I've never seen it done deliberately. In the city, I've done it, yeah. When when I was uh doing like AV work and, and security work for these like, you know, stock market buildings yeah. and stuff. To go to use the bathroom, which you got to get like a special key for. And then there's been, I've seen one one or two times a guy just completely fucking pants to ankles to take a piss at the urinal. And using the middle urinal when there's three urinals and that bothers the shit out of me. Yeah, there's something about, something psychological about that. Come on, that's like, you can't, that's, use the one all the way to the right. So I can yeah. use the one all the way to the left. But then, so, uh, yeah, so what else is going on? Not much, man. So, uh, let me ask you something. Go on. What, what? Do you ever see any of these moving trucks? This is a stupid thing, but do you ever see any of these moving trucks? <laughs> like, why is it all hunks, moving junks, and studs? Have we seen, like, I forgot what the other one was. We were, we were I've talking never about seen a thing. hunk move anything. You've never seen a hunk move anything? It's always truck? a name, and some trucks have fake hunks <laughs> on the back of it. Like, have you seen that? Yeah, we got it for her mother when her mother moved. Yeah, <laughs> they're not. They're far from hunks. They were all excited when they were like, "Fuck yeah!" yeah it's not a gimmick. Your bellied college, fucking. right? Right. It's like if we get like I don't know sluts who clean your basement, and that's a metaphor. Sluts who wipe butts. <laughs> that's it. Sluts who wipe butts. I could use one of them. Can you imagine? To just come out and they're like, and you can tell that they hate their job. You have that like, much money. Yeah, oh, and no they more. pretend to be interested. Like, uh, do you ever see like uh, do you ever go to strip club and watch a stripper yeah, pretend to be interested in a interested. guy, and the guy yeah. fall for it? And the guy falls for him. Save you. Yeah, I'm gonna save you. Know, you. Oh, you know what I love? I love your eyes. I love <laughs> like I a big pair of fucking double D's in your face. Yeah, you're like, a, I just your eyes. And I'm not a tip man myself. <laughs> but it's like, really, it was your eyes. That's why you look at you eyes fucking and your smile. Listen, just just sit here. We'll talk about how you want to become a dentist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My my brother fell for that. Really? We he came over from Ireland. Now you have to understand the strippers and the strip clubs in Ireland yep. are disgusting. They're women in Ireland, and I've said this before. Irish people were were not an attractive island Did, at all. We're not an attractive island. Like it's if you some. no no if you no. go online if you go online and Google the top ten let's say hottest guys for example right right you have Killian Murphy. Colin okay. Farrell, Michael Fassbender, yeah. Jamie Doran, and then you start naming Americans who visited Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, we're an ugly island. Uh, we're an ugly bunch of fuckers. We you know, really there's are. No tens? What there's no 10s? There's no 10s. Is it 10 there like a, like a New York 6, 7? New York 6 or 7? Yeah. How about a Long Island 2? Really? Yeah, man. They're hideous. God. Like I'm, I'm people from Ireland are listening to this and you know what I'm talking about. So I'm not wrong. So you can be mad at me all you want to, but I think I'm not, I'm sorry for hurting your feelings, but I'm not wrong. Do, do, yeah, but do Irish women from Ireland know that? They don't. Because you're, you are what, you know what I mean? Like they don't. it's like office hot. Do you know what I mean? What about Irish women that came here? I've, I've seen a couple. I don't attractive know, ones, like, no? not, not hot though is what I'm saying. Like not, Yeah. you know what I mean? Like you see like, yeah. Mm. Yeah, you know, you know, there's some people which I I don't like to do it. Like I, when someone's like, she's funny for a comic, right. she's funny for a female. 
right. right? Which you should be funny or not. It shouldn't be what's between your legs. You know, like a Jessica Kirsten. Yeah, she's funny. Liz great. Mealy, yeah. Carmen Lynch, Maria Bamford. Just, they're funny people, right? My buddy Katie Boyle, right? Mm -hmm. They're just funny people. You don't go, she's, that's funny for a chick. Yeah. Right? So, but there are some people you go, she's funny for a chick. Oh, yeah. Right? A lot of them. But, um... So when you see Irish girls, you would say that. She's attractive for an Irish, Irish girl. girl. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. They really are. I'll take you to Ireland one day and you're like, all right, I get it. That's it. This is document. Your standards drop Looking within for a four days. You start to get excited That's about it. That's the whole trip, trying to find an Irish 10. Yeah. Dom Herrera, <laughs> great comedian, has a bit about Irish girls. He said, do you have 10s and 2s? That's all they have. Oh, it's funny. <laughs> it's not if you live there. <laughs> well, that's why you found one from here and moved here. I get it now. Now I understand your love story. And they're lovely women. I'm not <clears throat> talking shit about them. Their personalities, their sure. intelligence, they're great. They're they're artistic. They're, you know, they're into poetry. Like really, like, you know, it's a deep thinking country. But my God, man, get on a fucking treadmill, ladies. Lift something. Do something with your teeth. Like, we're just an ugly... I'm an ugly Irish person too. We're just an ugly island. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> trying to make yourself feel better like the kid that licks the wind on the bus you're like he's smart he could put yeah. put the shape together yeah right? exactly this kid, this guy knows like watch throw, <laughs> throw a bunch of two picks on the ground he can tell you what number is there <laughs> exactly you know what I mean? 242 like alright Dustin Hoffman um, oh my god but anyway yeah so the the, the, the the hunks thing I thought you were like when I see people who rent no because we keep seeing these trucks there's hunks hauling junks and then there's studs how many studs do you need to help move your stuff and you're like what is it with like good looking this thing good looking guys and moving shit like, and they're always so fat black guys <laughs> they're always fat black guys with belt harnesses <laughs> right you know what I mean because this you're the, you're the fifth uh, move today and their backs are done just dirty white they're, trash they're 36 years Priors. of age yeah man I got this <laughs> not against black people, but usually, you know, usually nobody's into them. <laughs> the white girls aren't really into them. The ones I know. And, uh, you know, and they, they just, that's what they are. They're just, they, they, the truck pulls up like, oh, who are these hunks going to get out? <laughs> and you expect me like, tick, tick, boom, boom. Tick, 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 tick. I see oh, like, oh, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. It's something you expect that. Like a guy going to, yeah, he's just taking off his fucking white beater and he's going to, you know, he's glistening muscles. It's a fat guy named <laughs> Lou. So the stains. Who just it. gets out and he, he just stinks of, uh, you know, of cigarettes. Like the one tattoo on his arm. Yeah. He's got the, like the, the, <laughs> the what do you call it? The 15. Pamela Anderson band. <laughs> You know, my problem is with how you can any you can just rent a pickup truck and those fucking idiots all over the road like they know how to drive. Yeah, and I'm a bad driver. Yeah, I'm a bad driver, and I can so that's why I can spot a bad a bad driver a mile away. Yeah, I've almost eaten a couple bumpers with you. Yeah, man, you've seen it. You've been yeah. around. You've seen me slap. Especially when he gets into deep conversation, that's when I start praying in my head. And he's like, "You hear what I said?" And I'm like, "Oh, father was on." <laughs> <laughs> that's what usually happens. You know what I hate? I hate re-meeting people. What do I mean? Re-meeting, like you go to. It happened to me the other day and I went to, to I was with my buddy and, and he seen somebody he knew and then I went to go introduce myself and I said, Hey, I'm Cor and he goes, Hey, I'm so and so, but you know, you know me, we met already from blah 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 and you're like, Oh yeah, I remember you. That's right. I hate doing that because it's like I don't. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing, you know, man. Right. You you're know, like re-meeting them again, you're like shit, you know? So you know who and they has, know you and you gotta act like you know them and it's Yeah, and you go like, Oh, that's silly. Yeah. But you know who has that shit down to a T? Who? Are the scumbags out in Los Angeles. Really? Yeah, the industry, and I've been to a few of those big glass fishbowl meetings like you see in Entourage. I'm not kidding. Yeah. Like, I'm not exaggerated. It's a group of people sitting around a table. You're at the head, and they're talking to you like you're the next big thing, because you might be. Right. And they want to make sure, like, hey, I kissed your ass on the way up, right? Right. And I'm clearly not on anybody, so those meetings never went anywhere. Um but what they will all do when they meet you, so you wait down the lobby, they call, they send an assistant down, assistant comes down, Mick Thomas? Yeah, I'm there with my manager. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Look, I go, lovely to meet you. He's like, good to see you. I'm like, all right. I just didn't pay attention to it. Then you go up in the lobby, someone greet you at the top of the elevator. Yep. Hey, Mick, oh well, my God, this is it's great to see you. Like, yeah, lovely to meet you. And then you're like, well, great to see you. And then you notice that they all say great to see you. And the reason why they do that is because they don't want to be in a room and go, hey, man, nice to meet you. Because, oh, yeah, remember at John Travolta's party, we already met. Right. Now they lose all their credibility of someone like, you're not important enough to remember. Right. So they all have that fucking game. And we were in the green room at the, at the improv, the yep. LA improv. It was me. Uh, at the time, it was only me and Seamus from WWE, right. just sitting there. And this comic came up, and she had been, she had the stink of LA all over her. Ugh. And she was like, hey, good to see you. 
good to see. I was like, it was nice to meet you. Yeah. And then she left. And then uh, as soon as she like left to go downstairs, I yeah. told Seamus, yeah. like, you know, big fucker. He never heard that. Like, <laughs> Are you fucking serious? I was like, yeah, man. Like, it's just the day That's fucking bullshit, isn't it? And then she came back. I was like, all right, good to see you. Like, I know your fucking game. I know what you're <laughs> what up said. to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's great. So yeah, fuck them. It's yeah, good to see you. But who do you call it? I had heard a great one, Irish comedian Eddie Byrne was in Canada. And I heard this thing what he does uh when it comes to remembering people. Okay. You know you forget people's names because yeah. horrible All the time. with names. Horrible you just say it to yourself names. three times, but I never do. Yeah, someone said to me the other day, like like I not the other day, it happens all the time, but someone did do it to me the other day to go, Hey, do you know such and such a comedian? I go, No, but if I saw his face yeah. and then I, I go on to whatever the gram is, as they say, and I'll go, Oh yeah, I know that guy. Yeah. But I'm just horrible with names. So like I look at the board as I walk into a comic, I'm like, Who's on the show tonight? Not that I stick around. Right. But I go, I don't know. I don't fucking and then they'll walk in either behind me or in front of me, like, oh fuck yeah, I know you. I just I'm horrible with names. So Eddie Byrne had said um, so I walk into a room and I don't know who you are and I walk up and go hey man I'm, I'm sorry I'm horrible with names you're like I'm Corey you go no no not you I know who you are Corey obviously but do you know the name of that guy over there with the hat oh it's genius it is genius that is genius it's fucking so good so now you're like I got you Corey's your name done done wow mm. that's fucking smart and that's it that's, that's it smart. I saw a thing on the other day uh, to bring it up where are we at uh, time wise by the way uh, all right, we're at half an hour. Um, I saw this thing on the other day. It was about in the next eight years, they're going to start moving people to Mars. Like they're ready to start moving people up. This is going to be interesting to watch. Yeah, would you? Would you go? So you go up, right? You no, no credit. You leave all your debt behind. <laughs> like that's just is that what it's doing? You just uh, yeah, I assume whoever they're gonna, they're gonna right. get you on Mars because it's not, it's not. Is it an extension of Earth? Like what would the laws I don't be? Know. I'd like to do a podcast on there. Well, you That'd can just cool. green screen it. <laughs> we got trees. Uh, thanks there. for ruining that, Mick. We all can, right, the authenticity can, of that. We can say we get here. We go. The moon landing wasn't real. No, but we get here. And we go. Look at that. Who would have thought Mars just <laughs> just right here? Fern trees. That's it. Right on Mars. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Would uh, I? I know. I, who the fuck would go to Mars? Why would I go to Mars? Uh, if well, I've done everything I wanted to do in life, yeah, then fuck it. There's nothing left on my. People want to go because it's like the new iPhone. They want to be the first one right. out there. This is going to be a bunch of rich kids getting flown to Mars to put it all over TikTok. Yeah, I think it would be nice if you just like if you took a bunch of like the assholes and just put assholes up there. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. An asshole to me is not hard. Like it's it's like we were had this already ruined the planet up there. Yeah, we exactly. Fuck it. It's a rock <laughs> in billions of miles away. We don't need to see it. Uh, uh, we had this conversation. We were driving the other day, and we're, there was, apparently there's a big protest out east. Out in the Hamptons. Really? And I was like, what's the protest about? And I try not to get political with the missus because she breaks down and she can't handle some of the arguments. Right. So she was like, what, what's, I was like, what's the protest about? Well, they're protesting the rich people. Like, what, what are they protesting them about? Really? I didn't know they were doing that. Yeah, they were like doing all, knocking the shit down. Like, oh, because they're private beaches and that kind of stuff. Right. And, and I go, look, at, you can't have a private beach for one. But you can have, so let's say like this down here, right? Right. The, all that whole area down there is all a beach. Yep. Right? And you can say, that's my beach. You don't own the beach, but the thing about it is you own the land to get to it. So people can't walk through your property and get to the beach. Right. So there's, but like you could take a boat in and come in that way and there's nothing you could do about it. But right. some people go like, no, it's fucking my beach, but you can't own a beach across, all across America, apparently there's no one that owns a beach. Um, but you own the land to but get to the beach. the town owns it, no? I don't know how the fuck to get away with that, but the town owns. I don't know how to charge you for tolls to go and sit there yeah, at the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. That that. But anyway, so we're driving along, and she goes, "These people are protesting that." And I go, "Why would you do? Why would you do that?" Like I, I was like, they, they said like that they don't want riffraff, and I go, "Look, you, I wouldn't want riffraff either." And she was like, yeah. "What's riff?" I goes, "Well, riffraff is your own definition of it. People right. who go to the beach that are just loud. There's a whole bunch of them. They aren't all, taking care of the beach. We all have like to that, listen yeah. to their music. Yep. Right. I was going to say. I was going to say. Bad tattoos. Crushed solo cups everywhere. Right, right. Fat. I don't know why that bothers me more than that. I don't want to look at them. I just want to look at fat tattoos just, on the beach. I just don't. You know what I mean? But whatever. But if you walk up there with your family and, and you know, you're quiet, you give a bit of a wave. Right. And I give you a wave back. And you hey, and, that's good. and you that's go fine. in, you play in the water, and you jump in the waves, and you come back, yeah. and you leave. That, to me, is fine. But right. just the loud people, like the riffraff and all that shit. Right. 
Get rid of them. Just get you the ones that go to the gym that don't put their weights back. Oh, I hate that. Don't wipe down the machine after them. That's that's a big pet peeve of mine. Um, there's certain gyms I've been to, and then it's like, especially if you're doing like a a, a cycle or or a, a kind of an around the world thing right, with a bunch right. of people. Right, and then you got to use a mat or something next, and they get up, and you see all their ass moisture and, yeah. right, and the mat that you got to lay down. And yeah, like, and they're dreadlocks. Go fucking now, like, by the time I wipe this up, now my time is done on that. It's just like a fucked up thing. Yep, I was at a gym, and then it was a it was a it was a, a long time ago. It's been a while since I was doing a circuit, and there was this black lady <laughs> there, and she had these big big dreads. And I don't know what the fuck fell out of her hair if she used a certain because I know you have to use special oils to clean it. Right. But just fucking was all over the mat. I was like, that you're disgusting. You're yeah. fucking disgusting wipe it pig. Up. Just wipe it up. Um That's it. But those people, people who you know when you're when they're trying to get off an exit, yeah, and you're driving on the highway and you're letting them on and they won't go. Mm-hmm. So if I'm in the, the right lane, I'm like, yeah, go ahead. I'm letting you on, and you won't go. Instant go to Mars. <laughs> go to fuck yep. to Mars. Like if I'm letting you out and you're not doing like I'm flashing, I'm doing everything and you're like, I don't want I'm scared to go. <laughs> I'm like, I'm letting you go. Like yeah. that, go go to Mars. That's it. Go to fucking Just Mars. Go to Mars. Go to Mars. You, you know what? That's a good bumper sticker. Go to Mars. Go to Mars. Right. That could be actually a good one. If it's, you have a bumper sticker, if you have a go to Mars. Sticker, go to Mars. Like we don't need to fucking see Just go to Mars. We don't care. Just go you. to Mars. And people it's just like go, you know, uh, let's go Brendan. It's like, it's like saying go fuck yourself just go yeah, to Mars just go to Mars be, oh, I think we're on to something here Star Wars fan Manxiety check out the merch store <laughs> yeah we should we really we should, should. Um, be a good one I'm happy with that actually uh, st- you Star Wars Mars. fans go to Mars go to- <laughs> definitely <laughs> Star Wars fans. He hates Star Wars fans. I fucking <laughs> from your fucking posts can't stomach. Oh, them. it's so great. Do you know what I was thinking of today? I was thinking of I was doing I was gonna put one joke on TikTok, make Thomas comedy, follow me there. Um I was going to do like to make fun of Star Wars fans. I was gonna be a character. Okay. Like as I was thinking, like, how do I make fun of Star Wars fans, right? Do By I, being a character. Do I shit there and yeah. just shit on them? Hey, Star Wars fans, you're the worst, which you are. I think you should um, get a bunch of Star Wars costumes. Right, my son's got a right. bunch of them. So right, and put each one you put on. Got lightsabers. You and tell the total wrong fact of that character, which we do at Disney. Did I tell you that we did that at Disney? And and I put that I put this joke on my. I gotta start doing it on stage. I put that joke on my TikTok. Okay, and it got nearly a million views. Right. And fucking that hate. That was the first. That was my first <laughs> interaction with Star Wars. I'm like, wait, what? Like I'm a I'm a nerd. Like I am. Like I like Avengers and Marvel and DC. You've been around me. You've seen yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Right. And uh, that's a geek, not a nerd. I don't know what it is, man. I don't know what <laughs> it is. Know just but anyway, so I, I, and, and me and my son were online at, at, to get on the big, big Star Wars ride, the new one, right? And we didn't have to wait online, but we have to wait on a small line to get in. But everyone else was right. on this massive, like a three and a half hour wait okay. to get on this new ride. So, but as you're on the, in the spec, they like to break up the, the monotony of waiting, they'll put like models and statues and they'll put like, like a car, like from Star Wars, like a flying thing, whatever. Yep. So my son was like, What's, what one is that from dad? And I remember there was a bunch of Star Wars fans behind me, around me, and I was like, "Oh, that's that's uh, Blake Skywalker's car. <laughs> that's yes, yeah, Blake Skywalker's. You know his uh, his cousin Aaron Solo, <laughs> no, his cousin Han Solo, which is not his cousin Han Solo yeah. made it for him. You know, actually, he uh, he like made the white trash Star like, Wars. Yeah, like Han Solo <laughs> made that car, and he made you know Iron Man suit. Yeah. Well, he made that too. My son was like, "Oh, playing along with it, you know." Yeah, and yeah. you can see people go. <laughs> <laughs> and you said that's not you all you hear was like that's not true no that's not true really? that's not like telling his kid oh, that's, that's not true at all like don't listen to that guy oh it's so funny I was funny. like what the f- it's a they, cult they are the fucking worst <laughs> it's a they cult. are the worst human and then I remember when we like the uh-huh. favorite part of that is when you're in a Star Wars land in Disney yeah so you gotta go to like uh, like everything is Star Wars they're in that land okay do you understand? Like, so I think is that the new one that we've seen a commercial for in the trailer in the movie that we uh, the Top Gun movie. I think so. With that experience. The if whole it's in, experience. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a, so yeah, we were on, we, cool. so there's a there's a like every, even the stores. Yep. Right. Even the stores are Star Wars. So if you want to get popcorn, right, it's not called popcorn, but yep. it's like a weird blue color, and they put this right. dye in it. <laughs> so we went up, and we 
that time of the afternoon, like, oh, I snack, I got a snack. When's, when's lunch? I got to go, I'm gonna, let's go get you some popcorn. Yeah. $25 bottle of water. <laughs> and well, blah, 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 blah. So we go up and uh, it's a, only it's a little boot, right? Yeah. A little tiny, little tiny little line, nothing crazy. Four or five people. I walk up, give them this uh, space pretzels. And <laughs> space the pretzels. Fuck they call it. Space pretzels. So then we, get, we get there and the girl, I give her my debit card and she's like, yeah, that would be... 1899 credits. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it was like, so like, ah, oh, if my car does, gets declined, uh, it's uh, because of, <laughs> I didn't tell my bank I was going to, <laughs> to this store. Planet. And she was like, oh, really? Uh, but she was like, so they're in character and they had a problem with their credit card machine. Oh my God. So she was like, gonna, Oh, I'm just waiting for a supervisor. Like, oh, all right, yeah, that's a great character. And she's like, no, no, she couldn't. She could. So she was like, so what? What galaxy do you hail from? <laughs> and I just, like, and my uh, son just looks at me like, please don't, like, don't, did you? don't embarrass me. <laughs> and I'm like, I, you haven't heard of it. She goes, why? No, I guarantee you have. No, it's from Orgasmo. Um, she, okay. Okay. What? Like, like, yeah, yeah, Orgasmo. And uh, let uh, me tell you what we use for fuel. And my son was like, that please. He's dead. I don't want popcorn anymore. Like it's fine. Like, and I swear to God, I was like, yeah, yeah. Uh, what we use for fuel? And she was like, you know what? You can just have the popcorn. Is that what she, she said? She, just, uh -huh. she broke character because she thought I was going to say like, yeah, we use jizz. On like, yeah, we just if we want to oh get our car or our flying space cars, we gotta fuck our space car and fill it with jizz, and that's how we get to work in the morning on Nebulon eighty two. <laughs> I can't do it. I wouldn't be able to survive in that. Oh, I don't know how to do it, man. It, it's star, they're fucking the worst. So my new Dark character. Vader. So anyways, I was saying I was going to do, how do I make fun of these people? Do I sit down and do one of these rants like I just did right. on TikTok, right? But I, I thought, you know what? I'll do a character, the guy who's really into Star Wars, and I'll show them how bad they are by okay. becoming one of them. Right. Like I'll get glasses and I'll comb my hair over really dirty, tight. Dirty, dirty, dirty man. Yeah, yeah. And I, I will do stuff like, okay, because I saw something the other day on on uh, on TikTok. A guy was like, oh, listen, I got to get this off my chest. So I'm watching Avengers Endgame and right. he did this whole thing about Do Doctor Strange and blah, yeah. blah, blah. And, and, I, and I just write to him, that, is that it? That's what you have to get off your chest? <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Nothing else bothering you, buddy. Yeah. Like you, I'm glad you feel better now. Mm -hmm. And all the comments are, well, you know, well, he had the time stone and all this shit. And I'm a diehard Avengers fan. But I watched the fucking, I let it right. go for a movie. I don't sit there and go, why didn't he just do, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The writers messed up. <laughs> the writers messed up on it. There's nothing for you to analyze. If there was a mistake in the movie, the fucking writers didn't see it. Nobody fact checked them. Yep. And it fucking got through the hoop. And that's what uh, it is. So, they'll, but the funny part is, they'll find things on there where they argue with George Lucas is like, legit are you it's, it's like he created it yeah I'm like you know you know fire like this is what I get I'm like you know fire doesn't exist can't exist in space right well you know would you, no no you know it, that can't it needs oxygen to burn right and there is no oxygen out in, in, out in space so yeah. when you see something blow up there's no flames because there's it doesn't right. flames don't burn they burn internally to the machine the flames and don't that's send you back a video of them being home trying to put together a whole science yeah. experiment to show you why fire and if a lightsaber was real if you turned it on because it's a laser right. a laser has no end point so it would just go till for eternity right you know what I mean? So like it doesn't stop four feet away <laughs> so you can vroom, vroom. You know what uh, I mean? And, and they lose their mind. But whatever. Like, and you reduce me to this shit, by the way, people. Like, I don't sit there and go, fire doesn't exist. Because you yeah, did. Does. So <laughs> you you provoked it. So I'm, I was going to become the character. Like something like, like did you see the new Obi-Wan Kenobi show? No, I didn't. I heard it was good. It is it's very good. Wars fans, it's very good. I didn't watch it. Um, so there's a scene in it where Anakin Skywalker is getting, like the machine is putting them together. Right. Right, you know, get he's getting dressed in the morning. I call it like the wardrobe droids, and everything gets screwed in. He gets put all his clothes put together, and all I would think is like, what if he had to take a shit? Mm -hmm. Is he gonna take all that stuff off now? Like if he's out killing people, <laughs> and he's got you know he's fucking they're, oh, he's fucking so bring me the boy, like all that shit. And he's fighting people. Right. He's fighting. <laughs> bring me Obi Wan alive, or you will never. You know, and it goes like, I gotta take a shit. He's got. Does he have to bring back in the wardrobe droid to take all of that oh stuff off? He's got a took his cape up over his shoulder. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, oh. <laughs> so I think the character I'm gonna be is like that guy. Like, all right, I gotta get something off my chest. So. 
I call out sick from the Verizon store to watch the Obi Wan show for the sixteenth time, and uh, I'm gonna do all this kind of stuff. And I was like, and uh, I'm watching the scene where the wardrobe droids are putting them together, like, and I'm gonna do that. Like, are we to believe that every time he needs to drop a deuce, we have to put all the, like, you know what I mean? Like, really? Oh, like, that's gonna be great. Just, and so then I'm thinking, like, I'm going one further. Like, not only do I do it just once, yeah. do I create a whole page and call it every Star Wars fan, <laughs> and just ha- you do, you do the good Darth Vader voice when you're sleeping that you do oh that's bad I sent that Insert to someone here. the other day <laughs> did you like it did you like uh, it yeah uh, I see uh, that's a lot more work for you now uh. um but I sent that to someone the other day, and they were like, "That's that's not you." I go, "Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, it is." That was one of my better edits. It scared me to know I sl- I ha- I snore that bad. That was fucking great. It wasn't it was me. Great because you're like, <laughs> <laughs> like I was literally dying, <laughs> like, and you were putting, you like, was dying. I'm just staring at you like this with the phone. Trying to put, don't wake up, don't wake up, don't wake up. This is too good. Don't wake up. And then after I did that, I just laid down. Because what do you do? You just you gotta try to be quiet. So I'm just sitting there looking at the ceiling, listening to you. You should have woke me like, up or put a pillow. Okay, over my that's head. enough. Yeah, you should have just woke me up, put a pillow uh, over my head. That's all you should have done. It was ridiculous. I was like, die, die. Oh, it was <laughs> fucking bad, man. It was really, really bad. It was that was fucking great. That was great. And the phone was like a good ten feet away from you too when it recorded. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> It's not embarrassing. It's scary to know. Like, yeah. uh, is it going to get worse? Is it not? It might. You know what's weird? Over the years, like I've had a conversation with people before. Like I, I've had a conversation with a friend of mine. I used to work with him years ago, and he's like, you know what? I might, I might go back to school and become like, uh, what did he say? I might go back to school and become um, a hospital biller, like someone who does bills for hospital. Go right. To school for that. You take a course, oh, and then you go. Okay. You know, it's good money. You work from home. Okay. Right. There Hospital billing. He pays really good money, and you get to work from home. Oh wow! And part time uh, job. Yeah. He was like, I was like, yeah, man, you should do that because I don't know where to start. Like, ah, it goes look, look it up. Yeah. So I got my lunch break that day, and my phone is full of because it hears you. Right. And I goes like, hey, <laughs> medical, medical billing bill, yeah. classes. You know, take them <laughs> online. Take this course, like eight hundred dollars, uh-huh. and you're done. And uh, I talk about like you know I might go back to Ireland and this that the other. I don't know what time, and I'll get like all these. Pop ups for um, now for I'm gonna get memorabilia lightsaber fucking ads because yeah, yeah, of you on my yeah. phone. So I'll get I'll get all these things and for like Aer Lingus. Hey, you come back to Ireland? We'll fucking fly Aer Lingus. I'm surprised I've never got like, hey, you're dying. Right. Here's a sleep apnea mask. <laughs> Go like if you, the phone is listening. It's Aer Lingus. It's a, the airline that flies back and oh. yeah, it flies back and forth to Ireland. It's, like our, it's, it's the only it's the only airline in the on the she planet. Likes when I blow on her pussy, I, give her some I good think it's Aer the only airline on the planet that's never had an accident. <laughs> oh, really? yeah. Aer Lingus. Aer Lingus. It does sounds like an Irish <laughs> guy going down on a girl. <laughs> I just blow into it. She likes it. <laughs> it's like bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> you go down on her. And it's like. <laughs> Is that good for you, honey? Do you like? I like it. <laughs> oh, left of it. Go <laughs> like this with your fingers. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, I'm surprised I never terrible. got those things. Um, like the phone hasn't picked up on the sound. Like this guy's dying. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or it's, like, it's never like, hey, is your boat dragging across rocks? <laughs> I'm surprised you're watching like, breathe. Get up and breathe. Get up and breathe. Yeah, where am I watching this? <laughs> Probably should. It could save your life. <laughs> That'd be fucking great. Oh, man. Um, all right. You want to call it? Sure, go ahead. You can all wrap right. it up. That time is now. Yeah, man. Listen, everybody. Thanks so much for watching, listening, in. subscribing, sharing it. Put the comments on. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs down. Whatever no, you want to do. Give us, give us the interaction. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, check out my other podcast, Cheaper Than Therapy. Also, follow me on Instagram, McThomas Comedy. Yes. Uh, follow me on TikTok, Ms. McThomas Comedy. Follow our page. And I have my anxiety on Instagram. I have Instagram. anxiety on Instagram. Have I we got a TikTok yet? I am Corey Brooks on Instagram. Uh, we have a TikTok, yes. We yeah, we're going to start putting clips soon. up. Uh, make sure to listen to the other podcasts along with the very funny Austin Brooks and Chris Frey. Give uh, it a Sticks listen. Sticks in Stone podcast. Give and, it a um, listen. if you're interested in any ad space on the uh, podcast, call me and we'll place it right here for a low fee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good luck to you. We're out. <laughs>